Good morning. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength, says Isaiah 30 verse 15. Our heading, in quietness and confidence. The doctor will tell you that you will make a good patient if he can keep your mind quiet and restful. All the worrying in the world will not make you well. The worrying will help to keep you ill. You will be ill just as long as God appoints. But if anything could help to heal you, it would be quietness and confidence of heart. So, firstly, have you lost a friend? Is there at home a great sorrow? Have you in the cemetery some loved one lying in a newly made grave? Well, my brother or my sister, you cannot bring the dear one back again, and you ought not to do to wish to do so. It is wise to submit to the inevitable. It is gracious to bow to the will of your ever gracious God. You cannot do anything that will be so helpful to your own sorrowing spirit as to exercise quietness and confidence. It will indeed be your strength. Secondly, have you a loved one who daily suffers? Have you one who seems week after week to be lying upon the brink of the grave? Is that the kind of living cross that you have to carry? Well, brother, it is no use fretting over it, and it can be no good to rebel against it. Let us not only submit to the will of the Lord, but let us ask Him to grant us grace to comply with it. For in quietness and in confidence shall be our strength. We often want to do too much, and we often really do too much, and so we spoil everything. We fret and we worry, but nothing good ever comes of all our fretting and worrying. But if we would learn to wait upon the Lord, we should renew our strength. We should mount up with the wings of an eagle. Application. Fretting is weakening. Whoever gathered up an atom of strength by fretting or fuming, plotting and planning, or doing this and that in haste and confusion. May God make you strong, brethren and sister in Christ, by taking from you the fret and the worry in which you have too long indulged, and by giving you the quietness and the confidence which shall be your strength for your future. And I pray, Father, give us the strength of the future. In Jesus' name, Amen.